Okay. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Moto Noir, the moto vlog where we ride around in New York City and talk about nothing, nothing at all. I've been pretty busy the last uh, few weeks, mainly because I am actually beginning to uh, perform my daily duties at work. I'm no longer in the training program. Oh, and it's nice. It's nice to actually just kind of get into the swing of things and actually hang out with the people I work with. It's just nice. It's nice. It's so nice. And I've had family in town. My mom has visited. One of my cousins came in town. And my cousins, my cousins are basically like my siblings. Growing up as kids, they were like just a few houses down from me. Um, I was an only child, but it wasn't really like I was an only child. I was, I always had them around. Yeah, they were my brothers and sisters. So one of them was in town and we went, we kind of, rediscovered our our roots and growing up our, our grandfather had always kind of instilled in us like an immigrant mindset he had always instilled an immigrant understanding of the world and the united states and i've carried that over into adulthood so this last weekend we went out to uh, ellis island where our families had actually come through we found their, their boat documents. We actually found our family name on the wall at Ellis Island, which is incredible. It immediately kind of links you to the past and our, and our roots as, a, as an immigrant family. Pretty amazing stuff. And walking through those halls and seeing the place that our ancestors had walked through, uh, coming in from Ireland, was pretty crazy to think that so many of our ancestors came through that little tiny island as their first welcoming station into a whole new country. Really connects you with your past. It was really, really incredible. And I've lived here for almost 10 years and I, I had yet to go. I don't have any excuse for that, but man, I'm glad that I finally did. So actually on the same trip, out to Ellis Island, we stopped at the the Statue of Liberty. Um, when you when you do the Ellis Island Statue of Liberty trip, you, you do both on the same ferry um, out there. Really good, actually. I think it was, uh, I forget how much the ticket was. I think it was only like $15. Think about that. Think about how much you pay to go see a movie these days. A movie. For an adult ticket to go see a movie, it's like $17 to go to the Statue of Liberty and go to Ellis Island, it was, uh, it was $15 each. <laughs> it's, to me, it's crazy. You know, you're actually outside, you're actually doing something, you're experiencing history, and uh, for less than it costs to go see a movie. But anyways, I digress. So the Statue of Liberty was really cool. It's bigger than I thought it was. When you look at it from afar, you think, oh, okay, well, there it is. That's the Statue of Liberty. Cool, cool. But then when you see it up close, wow, it, it's big. <laughs> it's really, it's quite large. So then we were in kind of like a discovery mood, you know what I mean? Like we were, we were like, okay, well, we've come this far. Let's, uh, let's keep going with it. So my cousin had uncovered a deed to a cemetery out in, in, uh, in Brooklyn for our family plot in Brooklyn where I live. And we went out to the cemetery and we found our family gravesite. Unbelievable. <laughs> At first we were having troubles. We actually walked around the graveyard because we couldn't actually find the entrance to the graveyard. So we actually walked around the graveyard once, completely around it. And here's the thing, not a little graveyard. It's a big one. <laughs> and so we're walking around and finally, finally, we find the entrance. My cousin had looked up the GPS coordinates for the, uh, the grave plot, but we kind of wanted to find it on our own. We knew the row and we knew the number, but in a large graveyard like that, that can take a long time to figure all that out. So we kind of navigated to the general area and then we just kind of started investigating, looking. And sure enough, we found it. Talk about an amazing, experience to have 
with another member of your family. I mean, it was like instant connection to the ground, to the city that I live in. You know, I've always said that I felt a special connection to, to this city, to Brooklyn, to Queens, to New York in general. And it's standing in front of my immigrant family's gravesite. It was, oh man, it was amazing. Sorry guys, I'm being a, a savage today. Hey, Mr. Scooter Guy, going, being safe. I like it. Got his back protector in, look at him, nice. I like it. I wish you would just move over a little bit. Come on, man, you're blocking me. Uh, I'm in traffic again, again, again. And sometimes there's little spaces that I can kind of, you know, fit in between and navigate through. But then, you know, I'm breaking the law. It's not always the best thing to do. And sometimes I just have to be stuck behind some poo-poo heads. That's a life tip for everyone, free of charge. Don't get stuck behind poo-poo heads. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Do we even know anymore? I don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, God. God bless America. All right, kiddos. That is going to be it from me today. Traffic is ridiculous right now. So we're just going to call it quits. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And I hope you have a great day.